We got treasure, dope. If you guys are converting a van as well, you would know these that these are seats hard to find. are like treasure. Mm. So we finally found one. And also, if you're planning to do a conversion and you want to do the single seat stuff, you better budget this one in because they're really expensive. But also, start looking into it pretty soon. Yeah. Into if you know you want to take your double out. We started looking from Feb, didn't we? Yeah. And we've literally only just found one. So, from our experience anyway, because obviously everyone's doing a van conversion now, we've been looking for about two, three months. On eBay, most of them have been sold out, and most of them go for like five, six hundred quid. And some of them are in worse condition than this one. So, your option two is to get seeds from some car and then make a custom plate and whatever and we didn't want to deal with that so we tried to find an original uh passenger seat it's I... brand new and we got a pretty good deal it costs 400 quid plus delivery but yeah most of them at the moment anyway go for around five six hundred quid which is super expensive found it on facebook marketplace as well so ebay like Raz said yeah. they were expensive and in really like crap condition yeah that's right um so laz had been had been sort of signed up to loads of facebook groups and that's where he found it so um but be quick like yeah, we quick. missed out a couple on a couple because we weren't quick enough and they'd sold yeah. in like 10 minutes so you literally have to be really active on it but, but yeah, yeah that's just our experience currently 2021 20, whatever june yeah. so maybe in a year or two but, it'll be a uh, lot although easier. even when we watched um camper vibe do it because that's when we kind of realized how expensive they were before we even bought yeah the they've done it at the end of 2019 i think and i think they spent five six hundred quid on theirs yeah um but yeah i think it was a like a mini bus wasn't it that they're taking it out of or something yeah like i don't know i think what some people are doing is getting these vans with uh seats in it and then they take the seats out and sell them we so anyway we're gonna start putting this in it should be pretty easy we've got two screws pretty much and we need to move the seat belt because it didn't come with a seat belt hook which is fine because uh most likely i would have to modify that one or replace it with the double seat belt thing anyway so let's crack on with it Woo! all right so first thing first we've got two bolts down here and i think it's 19 mil socket wrench so should just come out And that's righty tighty lefty loosey in it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Big strong boy. Big boy. <laughs> so I'll do the other one as well. Here we go. Two screws out. I think that's it. Yeah, then there's some weird clips like up the back. Why? Well, I think they just like pop out, I don't know. All right, well, let's have a look around the back. We don't want to lose these. Put them there. Put them there. Come on, follow me. So this thing, luckily for us, it's not plugged in. But on some vans, it might be plugged in and you want to be careful on plugging this because uh, it might throw up loads of errors on the dash. I think it's for the seat belt tensioner or whatever it is. So anyway, if it's plugged in, you might have to disconnect the battery and whatever before you unplug this. Ours, so, is, ours has always been unplugged since yeah. we had it, hasn't it? Yeah, ours has been unplugged since the beginning. So yeah, I think that's it. Short the seat. Yep. What? It moves. So now that it's moving, just move these cables out of the way like so i think you just need to push forward from these little feet to come off and then we can take it out oh there it comes good job buddy wow 
so feel, feel. these were the uh, what the back was kind of slotted into so they weren't actually screwed in or anything yeah it's absolutely filthy i'm gonna go get a brush um <laughs> sadly i broke my hoover the hoover so we can't really get in that but as much well or? yeah these little feet it just it has two little hooks mm. that it hooks onto so you just need to push the seat forward and then lift and it comes undone. So yeah, that was probably the easiest job we've done on the van so far. So let's clean this up and stick the new one in. So while I was just cleaning, um, which we would have inserted a time lapse. Whoa, focus. So clean it can't focus. Um, wow. It's as clean as it's going to get, and then once we do the swivel on that side, I'll um, clean that. But Laz has been taking off the seat outside because unfortunately it broke in transit, so he's just swapping it for the double seat one because realistically we're not really going to sell that. Um, we've got to go to the dump anyway, so. We'll put it on eBay just in case someone wants it, but yeah, the eBay mark like the market is just saturated with double seats, especially since sort of COVID, and everyone doing lots of van conversions, which is great. I need to get another sock hitch where the need to take the seat belt off with that bolt. To take that off. There we go. That's the one. Laz's pro pro tip for fixing things. That guy. Need to take this off to get the seat belt turned on. Come. Laz's pro tip on how to find a screw, how to find what wrench you need. What you do is you basically take all of them out <laughs> and try each one. <laughs> so you get your socket wrench, take them all out in order like this, right? This is pro tip with Lazzy. <laughs> and then you guess which one. What's this? 16 mil. Oh yeah, 16 I mil mean, it is. That was a good guess, but also he did just do that. I so did try about 16 of them. Yeah. And then you oh, say- no, you tried two. And then you say to yourself, righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> and try to undo it. Oh, oh wow. Well. There we are. So delivery. Well, wow, look at that big boy. So I think we only need this part. And now this comes out. Woo! That's what I need. Before we go and attach this bad boy, probably a good idea to <laughs> test it. It's going to be down there. Boom. <laughs> Here you are. And it comes with this piece which goes in that hole and basically what it does is it stops this from rotating too much so once you have it lined up you get your bolt and you screw this bad boy on like your life depends on it because it does <laughs> my life Cass's life depends on it so then I need to screw it on even more I think I can hand tie it for a bit and then, I don't actually have the right size thing, but I got a one quarter inch, or whatever it says on the packaging, Allen bolt. So I'll try to tighten it with this thing. Allen key. Allen key. There we go. Just try to tighten this down. Now for the moment of truth. Don't pull your back out now. Probably better as a two-man job, but... Ah, uh, you're a big boy. Cass is the... I'm the camera woman. Cass is the busy camera woman. Can we get this angle? So you need to tilt it up at this angle to clear this that plate, button. this plate here, you need to tilt it at this angle, it's pretty heavy so 
You can do it, but it's pretty hard. I mean, I didn't struggle that much. I thought it would be worse. And it, muscle man, you can do muscle it. Muscle man. <laughs> and then that slides on there. And then now the front feet, if you go to the front. Of course. Just sit down. Uh, there we are. Oh, yeah. So, I thought I was looking at this hole. So now it sits down over this hole. And now we can just attach. Boom! Nice. Yeah, out of all the jobs, this has pretty much been the quickest slash easiest one. Yeah. Um, Which is pretty surprising considering you're replacing. Let's we'll see. But <coughs> it's effectively two screws that then slot in at the back. Yeah. Um, and then it's just sort of the the faff of the seat belt, but luckily we didn't have any faff. No. Alright, so hand tie in that, get my wrench. Get your wrench. It's the wrong one. Oh no. Oh my gosh, you got the wrong one, guys. Gotta do the same thing. Try everyone. Here we go. 19 mil. I like it when people in tutorials tell you what mil it is, but I don't, you don't remember it anyway, so you're gonna have to do this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's 19 mil if you have good memory. Nice. Finished. Get a little extension rod, otherwise the the handle scrapes nice. on the scrapes on the floor. Mm. So that helps. And now we're done, so And look, you can even adjust the seat now. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do that before. And now he can walk slide. Yeah. Goes back and oh, forth wow. as well now. Which is pretty handy. Ow. <laughs> Come over here. Which is pretty handy because the double seat I think came further out didn't yeah, it? Yeah it definitely did. And the double seat doesn't slide No. and we might be able to it's now the bring kitchen. the kitchen more forward if you guys remember in one of the first episodes mm. when we were blocking it out we wanted to bring the kitchen pretty far out but because the seat came quite yeah. far out we decided to move it back a bit so if you need a bit of extra space at the doorway, it's pretty good. Yeah. And then here is the walkthrough bit. Yeah, it just opens it up so much more. So a nice bum shop. <laughs> so here it is. So that, that's great. Now we can have the arm rest up. We can just walk through. But obviously yeah. we'll have it we'll have it swiveled so it might be a bit oh. easy to sit oh, and I think I gave him a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming out. Oh there's a handle here. There's oh. a handle here that you can pull yourself out carefully. Go on. Hello? Yeah, go on. Oh you're going quite easily. Yeah, yeah you just gotta be mindful of your head there. Wow, I feel higher. You like it? Yeah. And then it Swing. You swing. Yeah, watch your head. Oops. Why is that so squishy? Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting actually. This is where the fuel tank is. So when we tap into the diesel tank, we'll tap in from here, most likely. So that's another reason why we wanted to do the um why we wanted to do the seats ASAP. So when we do the diesel tank stuff we have easy access. Next up we're gonna crack on with converting the captain chair to a swivel mm -hmm. so we have been Stay in tuned. two minds about whether we want this one swiveled so we might as, still do it yeah as you would have probably if you've watched our little mini tour of like the layout you know that we're having a table and a seat here so it makes sense to swivel this one whereas that one just seems a bit pointless because we've got a bench here yeah, so and we're like, gonna have the kitchen come up to about they're here. They're like 150 quid, so they're not cheap cheap. 120 quid. Oh, well still, yeah. if we're not gonna use it. Yeah, so we'll see. What we'll do is we'll swivel that, finish pretty much most of the build, and then if we feel like yeah. we need to swivel that, then we'll swivel that as well. I mean, I was it. thinking the only benefit of it is if you have more people, then you can see three at the breakfast table. Um, the breakfast bar. At the breakfast bar. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see. So that's that. We'll crack on with the swivel seat ne next time. And that's it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Join us next week for week 15, part two, where we installed the swivel base on the captain's chair. Super simple process, so join us next week to find out how we done it. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs>